Okay, uh, let's continue uh, to call the second page, uh, the menu page. So the menu page will be pretty much the same. You can take a look. Pretty much the same as the first page, except except that the content here is different. So to make it more efficient, we can pretty much use the first page as a starting point. Uh, so here is the index.html. Uh, we can use this as the starting point for our second page. So let me get this window out of place, <clears throat> out of my way. And uh, so this is the index.html. Let's make sure it's saved. And then we can save as uh, in the same spot where we save it. Um, I forgot whether I save it in the right spot or not. But anyway, uh, we'll worry about that later. Uh, let's name this menu.html. Uh, let me see if I put it in the right spot. So this is my desktop. Oh, it's not in the same. Put it in the folder. Okay, so now I have two pages: index.html, menu.html in the folder called Java Gem. <coughs> and this is the menu HTML. So far, right now, it's the same as the index. So let's first let's change the title. And uh, we want to get rid of this two sections, the unordered list and the paragraph. And instead, we're going to have a definition list. And definition list will be a bunch of dt followed by dd. And our dt, if you look at the instruction, uh, is in bold, so that means we need to put them in a pair of strong. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to do this uh, three times. So the first one is says just Java and the text. There. And if you want them to be on a separate line, we know it needs a break. <coughs> and uh, okay, we probably should put them on the same line. And the next one. Let's take a look. Save viewing browser. Okay, so this part looks fine. And let's test the link. You can go back and forth. And the title will be changed when we go to different pages. So everything looks very according to the requirement. So we're done. And the last thing is we need to submit both HTMLs uh, in the zip file. So to do that in Windows, you just need to select these two files, or you can zip the entire folder. Either way, that's fine. And then send to and uh, compressed zipped folder. You can 
either zip the whole file, um, folder or you can just zip these two files either way is fine and it will create a <coughs> zip file and I will prefer you name it homework one with your last name and the first name so it can be easily recognized as your work and go to canvas upload the zip file and then you're all done